Everybody. Good afternoon. How are you? Hope you're having a pleasant weekend wherever you are in the world. So I am doing this video for fun. And also because when I was doing my tarot reading last night on YouTube, a lot of people were asking to do a video like this where I gave just some insight and advice about how to do tarot readings how to get started with that, or to find tarot decks, just passing along all different kinds of information. So I'm doing this video for that purpose. Uh, the video that you're watching right now, I'm going to leave it up on my channel and then move it on over to the tarot channel that I have set up. Uh, but I'm going to leave it up here for a while for those who want to know things, need to know things, need some tarot card help. So like if it disappears after a while, it's going over to the tarot channel. But in the meantime, it's here. So what is there to say about the tarot? Uh, to give you guys some background, I have been reading the cards for, let's see, I started when I was in my early 20s. Uh, I was in Florida. There was a metaphysical shop near my house. They were doing uh, tarot readings. And I decided to check it out because I had questions, personal questions. So I went to see a tarot reader. I paid, I think, $25 or so for the reading. And then after the reading was over, I just, you know, my logical brain just took over. And I thought, you know, like, I could, I could read the cards. <laughs> you know, like, I can get a deck of cards and learn to read them myself and not pay 25 bucks a pop. So I got a tarot deck and I started studying and learning all kinds of different things. And I do tarot readings for myself as well as other people. And I mainly read intuitively. Like everybody's got a different way of doing it. Some read intuitively, some do a lot of studying on the different symbols and stuff on the cards. It's all personal to how you are as a person and how you feel the most comfortable. So for those who might ask the question, is there one set way to read the cards? No, there isn't. Is there one set way to lay out the cards when you're reading them? No. Again, it's all personalized. Different readers do different techniques. Some tarot card readers They'll read like a few different decks in one reading to get a good feel about what they're talking about. 
Uh, you can have tarot readers that they combine different tools along with the reading. It's all personal to you. Like what calls to you? Like what, what tools do you feel are needed to give the best reading? So I would like to show you guys some of the decks that I have and why I prefer them. So let's start with Old Reliable, the Rider Weight deck. This is a very popular deck, and for good reason, because it's very stripped down. It's very simple to understand, very basic. For those who were asking me last night how to go about getting a tarot deck, where to get one, there's all kinds of places where you can buy tarot decks. Uh, the most common online are, say, eBay and Amazon. They've got tarot decks all day long, and the average cost of a tarot deck is 15 bucks, 25 bucks. Sometimes it's more expensive depending on if the tarot deck is rare and hard to find. You've also got oracle decks, which are different than regular tarot decks. They have more pictures versus like regular pictures you might see on the tarot. Now, in, there's so many different decks out there with so many different themes. Uh, this is where you can make it fun. You know, like when you're looking around for a deck, look for decks that call to you. A different decks will appeal to you for different reasons. There is also a reason why if somebody is serious about the tarot, that they have a variety of different decks because each one is a different feel, different energy. They might call to you at different times, but if you have just one deck, if you do tarot card readings, more than likely that deck is going to get tired really fast. And that may sound weird to say, but yes, tarot decks do get tired. If you're sitting there connecting with a person, doing a reading for a person, you're putting your energy on the cards, uh, like you, it can deplete the deck. And you'll know that it's tired for two reasons. If you're doing the readings and then the readings start to feel kind of wonky or the cards just feel differently, that deck is tired. And it, it needs to rest. It needs to be cleansed. It needs to be put away. So a lot of tarot card readers have different decks for that reason. Just in case, you know, like they're doing a reading with one deck and it starts to feel tired or it needs to be cleansed, you can move on to another deck and keep going. So the Rider Weight deck is my go-to. You guys see me use it all the time. I really like it. Uh, I love the fact that it's got more of a paper cardboard backing versus the plastic backing. Different cards are made different ways. I have, I got small hands and I have a hard time holding on to things because I got tiny hands. Uh, some of the newer decks that are being produced have more of a plastic coating backing and that means they're really really slippery and it's really hard to hang on to the cards i have one deck let's see if i can find it where is it uh but there's one deck that i have that i absolutely adore because of it, it's a rider weight deck it's just you know it, the backing is different which makes it difficult to deal with it's this one right here i love the look of the cards but you guys can clearly tell like that the cards are thinner they're all plastic. And I got to tell you, they're a pain in the butt to hold on to. They're, they're so slippery and there's nothing you can do about that. There's nothing. What a doggone shame. A beautiful deck, but because the cards are made out of plastic, they're slippery. So something to consider if you do tarot card readings. Consider the, the style of the card, but also consider how the card is made. Like, do, do you want that 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 more firm, sturdy, cardboard-like, paper-like backing on the cards? Or do you want more of a plastic? I'm telling you, the plastic is a pain in the butt to hold on to. <laughs> the cards are going to go everywhere. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. And these, these are like Oracle-ish type cards. As you can see, they're different from the regular tarot cards. You know different pictures and these can be really great to add to different tarot card readings like they, they give like give deeper messages or individualized messages like so i've got this deck 
And I've added that into my readings from time to time. So like the different cards do different things, have a different feel. It's if you're the you're the tarot card reader, if you're reading for yourself or other people, choose decks that call to you. Like if, if, if you're looking at different decks and you go, that one, I want that one, uh, then that's the one you should get. And you might amass a collection of different decks and they may call to you at different times. You could leave a deck alone for months and then all of a sudden you want to pick it up and do something with it. Well, that's just how it goes. So the Rider Waite deck, for those that are wondering what's a good beginner deck, the Rider Waite deck. There are actually Rider Waite decks that have the meanings of the cards printed on the cards. That way, if you're wanting to learn tarot, that's a good way to do it. Also, for those wanting to learn the tarot, you can go on YouTube and there are tons of videos and tutorials that will teach you, that'll show the different meanings of the cards and like what they represent and how they can be laid out in a, in a tarot reading. I tend to treat the tarot as almost like a storyboard. You lay out the cards and as you're laying out the cards, they're telling a story to you and all you're doing is simply interpreting the messages and the message is never the same thing twice. It all depends on the energy. It depends on how the cards are laid out, in what order. Sometimes you can read cards and different details of the cards will pop out at you for different reasons. Like it just, it happens to me a lot or I'll just get a certain feeling and just go with that. So if you want a good beginner deck, definitely get the Rider Weight deck. This is what the cards look like. You guys have seen me use it. Uh, if you're going on eBay, if you're going on Amazon, you can usually pick these up for 15, 20 bucks. One thing of note though, I do not, do not recommend buying a deck that is used. I don't recommend that. You do not know where that deck came from. You don't know what it was used for. You don't know who had it. You don't know what energy might be attached to the cards. So unless it's a situation where, let's just say you're a mother and you're passing your cards on to your daughter, or you know for sure where those cards came from, you can verify, you know what the cards are used for. I do not recommend getting a used deck. I recommend getting a brand new deck. There are lots of used decks on eBay and Amazon. But again, you can't verify the sources. So my recommendation, don't go there. Keep yourself safe. If you don't, if you can't verify what the cards were used for, don't get them. Uh, just, just don't. Also, it might be a good idea that once you get the deck to have something to put the cards in to keep them safe, to keep them clean. Uh, something like this. They've got little tarot bags. If you're someone and you are, say, a seamstress, you can actually make these. You can actually make these. You know, or you can use an old sock or something. One moment. Here we go. Sorry about that. Let me turn this off. You can just, you can find a, like a, like a special box or a drawer or something to keep your tarot decks in. Uh, I recommend keeping your tarot decks in a place where they will not be handled by other people. They will not be touched by other people. Uh, don't lend out your tarot deck. Once it's yours, it's yours. Do not lend out your deck. Don't let anybody else touch it. Don't let anybody else use it. Because once they get their energy on the cards, it's going to get all messed up. If you do tarot card readings, it's important to also cleanse your decks. And there's a variety of ways to do that. Some people use uh, incense smoke. Some set them out in the sun. Again, it's all personalized, but it's it's always a good idea to, once you're do, do, done doing a reading or several readings, to cleanse the decks and let them rest for a while. It's it, it, If you don't, then you're going to get messed up readings. Uh what else is there to say? <laughs> I'm trying to think of everything uh, and I'm all over the place here. 
Yeah, so I do read intuitively. Uh, I tend to do that a lot. I, I do study the cards. I want to know more. I want to get better readings. But I just, from in here, uh, what else is there to say? I'm probably leaving a lot of stuff out. Probably leaving a lot of stuff out. Oh, before I forget, if you decide to do tarot readings, always make sure that you are in a calm place when doing it. Never do a tarot reading when you're upset, when you're angry for something. Don't be in a negative headspace. The cards will pick up on that and it will completely mess up the reading. Don't, don't do it when you're ill. That'll mess it up too. Uh, always be in a, in a good place when you do it. Always, always. Uh, I'm just trying to think of everything. <laughs> uh, speaking of tarot decks, I've got several on, on eBay or an Amazon um, wish list. I'm going to be getting soon. I've just got them all earmarked to put away. But what else is, what else is there to say? Uh, let me just give you guys an example about reading intuitively. You know, like, I mean, just pick out a card from the tarot. Like you guys might recognize this card from last night. So when I, I pick up this card, I might look at it and that there might be any images in my mind that, that go with this card. Like you got this gentleman, he's holding on to the, the wand behind him, looking out into the distance. Uh, I might interpret this card as somebody who's holding on to something that might be fruitful, but not overly fruitful looking out and saying, what else can I do with myself? Uh, the fact that it's, say, a, a barren desert setting in front of him, you know, looking out into the horizon and not seeing much opportunity versus where the wands are located, this part right here, like there's, there's a little bit of grass, there's a little bit of green. So like right behind the guy, there, there's something fruitful. In front of him, there, there's desert. So he's holding on to it. He is holding on to it. And he's not letting it go because there's nothing in front of him that, it, that he can grab on to. He's just saying, what now? What now? I can't make a forest out of all of this. <laughs> I just have these branches with a little bit like some buds, but it's not a forest. So... So this could pertain to business. This could pertain to creative ideas. This could pertain to uh, creative thoughts. It all depends on the rest of the reading. And again, it's 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 all up to you. When you look when you look at the cards, sometimes you'll notice those different details. They'll just pop out at you for no reason. Sometimes it's the whole card. Sometimes it's just like part of it. Uh, it it's it's amazing when you do tarot readings how. Different cards will make you feel different ways at certain times. At a last night's tarot reading, I got I, there was a big theme that kept popping up. <laughs> and for those of you that were part of the reading, you know what that is. So is the, did I cover everything? I think I did. Uh, let's recap, though. Like if you're someone and you're looking for a, a basic deck, go for the right waiter deck. Right or weight deck, sorry. Uh, Please make sure that unless you know the person, never buy a used deck off the internet. You don't know what it was used for. Don't let anybody use your deck or touch your deck. You know, Don't lend it out. It's not a toy. Uh, try to keep it in a safe place, maybe covered up. Uh, cleanse your cards as needed. Different ways to do that. Uh, feel free to customize your decks. You can actually make your own tarot deck if you're artistic enough, or you can mix up different decks. So you're the reader. What makes you comfortable? Uh, you know, you can read intuitively. You can read cards by studying stuff on the internet, by studying YouTube tu tutorials. Don't do readings when you're upset or angry or sick because the cards will pick up on that. It's good to have different decks. Uh, just in case one gets too tired. Oh, speaking of that, while I'm here, 
when you read tarot, especially if you're reading, doing multiple readings, like that can sometimes take a lot out of you because you're connecting with the energy of the cards and perhaps the person that you're doing the reading for. It's a good idea not to go overboard and do too much because you will actually feel drained. I've done that on YouTube. When I've done my tarot lives before, I would just connect so hard to people that I just, I was, I was done. I was toast. If you talk to a tarot reader and they're, they've done a few readings before you and they say, I can't do yours. Don't get angry. Don't get angry at them. They're not being rude. They're not pushing you off. They literally are drained. And it, even if they gave you a reading, it's it may not be a good one just because they're overly tired. Yeah, it does it will just suck the life right out of you. So if you read cards, you know, it's good just to stick to a few and leave it at that versus trying to do readings back to back to back to back. Because even if you have like a million decks, like there's still you. You're still part of the equation. You may have different decks that, you know, if they get tired, you can switch over to another one. But in the meantime, you're going to get tired. You will get absolutely tired. Uh, if you're somebody going to a tarot reader, uh, understand that there's only so much that we can tell you. We can get a sense of what's going on or what might be happening or what could be happening, but we can't get into specific minute details. We can't give any mental advice, medical advice. Uh, the things that we tell you should not take the place of actual medical advice or, or mental advice. Those are things you should see a doctor or a therapist for. And, and approaching a tarot reader and, and asking for that minute detail advice about serious issues like that. It's just, I'm sorry, there's only so much we can do. Please don't do that. It puts us in an awkward position. It really, really does. We can give you a general idea and a summary. And then it's, it's really up to you to take it from there. So I think I've covered everything that I could think of. There, there might be other stuff that you guys can approach me in the comments with. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, very happy to do tarot readings here on my channel and help anybody out who wants to read the tarot. Uh, just uh, I'm at the point now that I don't even do tarot readings for myself. I just... I, I know what's going to happen for me. <laughs> and the crazy thing about being a tarot reader is that reading cards for other people is easier than doing it for yourself. If you need one for yourself, it's better to go to somebody else. And that way it, it's more objective. So I think that's it. I, I think that's all there is to say. Uh, I wish you guys luck for those of you that want to read the tarot. Uh, feel free to go online like I said, there's tons of tutorials, tons of videos explaining each and everything you want to know about the tarot. Uh, you'll learn a lot that way. And if you don't want to learn that way, there's the little book that comes with brand new sets of tarot cards. There's also books that you can buy that are dedicated to the tarot and the meanings of the tarot. So there's all different sources of knowledge out there. It's just a matter of what makes you feel the most comfortable. All right. So I think that's it. And uh, I'm going to leave you guys with a, with a greeting to have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video. I do until then take care of yourselves and each other. Bye now.